we are paying again. Found me. Yeah, I do. Are you ready? Yeah, born ready. Lula, take two. Hallelujah. And as always, I always have a great panel lined up for you. So, these guys have basically kidnapped them for the next couple <laughs> of episodes. <laughs> and we have a new addition to the episode. Yes. So, <clears throat> so before I get right into it, before I get right into the topic, I'm going to then eh, let them introduce themselves <laughs> again. Um, I'm Nana from Elwave. You guys know it. Yeah. Uh, greetings, people. My name is uh, Dennis Kibbs. Hmm. Your boy Mule from uh, yeah the listening party was good. Yes, and I'm Carl from the listening party. So yes, guys, I'm hoping by by now you've already checked out their channels because I put them in the description box of the last episode we shot. So I'm gonna do that again because they ge they generally have great content. They there's amazing vlogs from Elwave over here. And then listening party, I've actually collaborated with them on a couple of episodes. So do find time and check them out. So for today's episode, yeah, mm -hmm. we are talking about sex education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess you become now a little more interested, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do good, do good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we are asking, should sex education be introduced into our 844 curriculum? So because I feel like this topic is a bit too personal on my end, I'm just going to keep Started it, eh? <laughs> yes, as in Mimi na. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I feel, I feel like, mm -hmm. as people of our generation and the generation that was before us, even kids now, some, we've subjected to learning about sex through magazines, through TV commercials, TV programs, you know, comic books and whatever. So why? Do we have to subject ourselves, to subject our young people to learn about sex education through, you know, other unusual means? When we have parents who can talk to us about these things, when we have teachers who've been paid to do these things, when we have lecturers, we have actually I think figure a lecturer. As in, by the time I personally I feel as though the minute you enroll in a primary school, once kufunzwa about sex right there and then. Not of, yeah, exactly. Yeah, a child is okay. usually so occupied with their mind to introduce sex ed during that time will just destroy their universe. I believe waiting for you know waiting for them to get to puberty at around twelve, apo ikikugonga when you realize oh damn I have hormones and I feel like this. You know, there's there's a lot that goes into it and sir once women's experiences a bit on a feeling it's great they. They introduce it then, and it was introduced. Generally, let us to now life skills, because yeah, uh, you know they, they had to teach us some way. It, it was actually there for a while, and then it came out here. So um, I, I do feel they need it back because coming uh, in and out of the children are ratchet these days. So sex education should be there, but 
Nafikia mi nafikiria at a younger age. I mean, how do you tell a one year old that it's class one year? Class one year. Grade one. Grade one. Eh, grade one. Una take it the worst. Class one. Ah, this is how it is. I mean, una jo pia ata ah we in that age bracket. I mean, the 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 brain is also developing. So what ends up? You're exposing them at such a young age, though you should, but at a later age, come out like puberty. I'm saying, no, no, okay, fine. This is how it is. Make it true. Na notice to my video, okay, fine. So, yeah. This is in a mea bagule. Nikaka cheat code. Madue. Madue. So, yeah, and I personally think we should start with the parents, first of all, because, you know, charity begins at home or something. Actually, I'm feeling it generation. Yeah. Generation years as you do, in your son, and that's why they were reluctant to talk to us about this, mm. those things. It's like a tabu or something. Mm. Like. I don't know if it's a tabu, it's a sex, sex was sacred yeah. to them. And then, you go to your mind. Yeah, I've never seen my parents kiss. Wow. Oh, because I wish that. When I check kiss, I don't hold hands. I'm fucked. It's forbidden or something. But I think when you're my she's also right. But it's not like you'd introduce them like to, you know, would you like what you were given can do. But at that age, <laughs> like at seven, eight, nine, wow. <laughs> at your age, like you should have um, a sort of relationship with the kids where you know, where they know rather that they can come to you and talk to you about something. You can't of course tell them that, you know, contraceptives needed, like you should use condoms, but there should be a conversation where like, you talk about what's happening. Like, CRT, you just wake up one day and you go out there. There's a process mm. that mm. you go through. So you should have, that kind of mentality, yeah. let's talk with the kids and let them know when this time comes, you can come to us and talk to us. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily sex education. Yeah. I have a perspective that I'd like to clarify, maybe. To Nangali history of sex education, to Abi, the aspect of school, I'm a parent. School. I'm a boy. I think it was school. Yeah, for now, like the eight for four curriculum, just school in itself. Hey, true. Chuo chuo unemajinu e e I'm I'm trying to imagine ule mto iplani ule kijana iplani ashika ni shangi zafu alafu unale mama mjenga amem bamba alafu na na kuambi amonde e baza iskuno ma e I I think unajua mina feelingi tiki tunetoa guidance and counseling chuo how I feel sometimes is like that is just an avenue to suck information out of us kosa ba buta na kuambi amonde ngori ya kwa alafu waje kiasi kiasi kwa assembly Sikia, like, same of you, uh, yeah. Oh, you know, you know, you know, you know, yeah. Bana, unani kapitana. Don't be like, ama kama mse, anakuwa na noma, anenda kupati example na wewe. Imagine. Mwode anakuta jata jina. Oh, yeah. For example, there's someone who, you know. Unakuwa funzo kwa wengine. Mm, yeah. So, as well, I feel, I yeah, see, I, I think, I believe uh, our tutors and teachers on a funzo are uh, psychology. I, I feel like sometimes one of the reasons people don't talk to our teachers about sex is because of that. Tags, Most of the teachers in Guinea Pia, you are teachers college Pia Mission in Goom. Before someone even begins to talk to you about sex, they must have experienced it themselves. <laughs> trust with such type of information like your sex life should be a parent. I, I know it's it's an African society kind of but 
conservative, but in an ideal situation, your parents should be the first. Yeah, mm. but I think the thing is, if if an eight year old will never bring it up, then a parent definitely won't bring it up. Mm. So if I told your parent, because there's also conserved parents, so if I told the parent won't bring it up, Simolima may find that she like, imagine, honestly, that child will bring it up, and that parent will be inclined to yeah. having to talk to that child about it. So I want to ask you, you guys who say something <laughs> about 12, Juni Mini. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me give a like us girls. Before we had our periods, we were told about them. You get mm-hmm. like we knew whether you were eight, you were nine, ten, as in Ulianza Kwambiwa, so you knew what was coming your way. So, Mbona Umtotongo J12, say, when your boobs are growing, when you're Unamka with wet dreams, one to explain what it is that you're going through. You see, now a majority, a majority <laughs> of that, a, a majority of that you haven't, uh, you haven't to lay. Okay, to ladies, I feel that's why that's why I'm not going to concept here. Ladies mature faster than no, it's because I'm not going to be shanza to chop you. Hey, you're katanuka. At this point of, of, of time, yeah. so all of you, 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 for the time when winter hit, when winter hits, your money winter is coming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Red Sea. But yeah. um, you see, for for us guys, we we, we aren't told much. Uh, how we are going to this will happen. Utakaka. Eh, but they vijana vijana ngi umachua high school. That is the funniest. Thing. Like it's not like yeah. and it's not like we said to come It's mm. a total yeah. of sharing with your yeah. friends. Mm. Like, we just came oh, from yeah. someone. Yeah. 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 Any adult told you so. Yeah. At that point, at that point, not information. It's not. But it's not your culture. But also, for an example, I'm just saying, what's the nani difference in telling a child who is in class one or twelve years? Okay, according to my point of view, uno na the a a child's brain in a in a grow fast and is interested as it. Children are curious. So imagine when they are told. If I hear the or this is what happens when this happens, of course I tend to try. Okay, that's according to me. I tend to try, mm-hmm. and then they will know, and that's how again they're exposed at such a young age when they don't know. If you do this, you know you get this. I think that's from my point of view. I think that's. I think what's sad is the thing is, you won't tell this child, but I watch cartoon and people are kissing, and this child doesn't understand. Hey, what in the world is happening? Because definitely, like we let's say. The, the mom and dad isn't definitely gonna kiss in front of that. But yeah. cartoons, cartoons are this is called cartoons that I need to do is in the Kwa Mbaya. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Who is watching this? Okay, but here's the thing. Okay, fine. I agree. But here's the thing. I don't mean as in start telling them, oh, this is what a man and a woman does. I mean, make them sexually educated in the sense that I this child understands this is what. A female looks like this is what a male looks like. Uh-huh. That it, not as in go explore. It's just one's for. Let them, cause let me tell you. Yeah, that's another thing. What you, exactly. what are you going to say? Exactly. Yeah, that's what yeah. they yeah. touch, touch, touch base, not as in go harm, because that each child definitely doesn't want. Mm. That's the graphic. Yeah. 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 Like I think the point is just touch base, like no attack panda ago ameshika, cause. Mrs. Trisga Classic, then they started bombarding us information. Yes. You know, may add so many Man, questions. Yeah. Hey, no matter what, from three, we are so excited to to do some reproduction of biology. You know, okay, mina, mina, because mina. Atuku, <laughs> you know, from the get go. So, I, it's, as in, I mean, in the sense that at eight years old, you know that a man who's at this age cannot touch you somewhere. You know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like just the basics of let me understand my body, and you understand yours, and you know, to back you up. Mimi kama ninja ni kwa zaidi ya makuzwangu akuba so. If you're if you're uh, if you're a guy and you know you have like siblings who are your sisters are you know ahead of you now we mature enough they can they kind of help you know some things because one of them now the older siblings know what you're the responsibility of telling the younger child mm-hmm. this is what goes on if you mess up here here and here because <laughs> yeah. mm, that's that's the thing that happens and now with this new age there's social media I'm trying to feel a eh, something weird happened I shall Google. I shall Google on all the information so i think a sex education even if they don't introduce it you still get to learn because you'll troll the internet enough that's the saddest part yeah. Yeah. that's the thing about it with phone so like why do you have to learn from the internet when you instead can instead of you learning it from your own parents yeah, so it's, a, it's, a, it's actually I tell you, unless unless you're in Medigo or you know you're from wow. the tribe of Coast Coast, everyone's you. But you know, but, 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 but not only 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they share. They, they share a lot. <laughs> but you know, it's not all about the internet. Because mm. even, even to I can get to internet, and if I was able to go to the college, I read this and this. Is it true? true? It's the same thing. See, at TPS, see, I on the internet. It is like internet. It will go there. All that, all the, all the children. Like, oh, and you are like sex is like this, and you are like. Okay, so, uh, but you, you can't go ask your your parent. Oh, 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 wrong information, oh, yes. Oh, oh, Although the yeah. internet is to it's, it's it's a hub of you know credible information. Information which is not correct. Yeah. You should just make sure that your kid is able to talk to you about it. Yeah. So as as you are to pick out the doors, cause um, all the all the yeah. 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 and I think I feel like parents need to stop. Someone mentioned this in one of the episodes we shot. Parents need to stop teaching children in terms of warnings. They're like, you don't know what you're saying. 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 All your life is ruined. You know, exactly. It's like, what do you mean? Like, you're so innocent. Where you're in a relationship, you're in a friendship. Like, you don't know what you're saying. I think people explore because no one told them from the get-go, you know. And I think those warnings, those warnings now bring about the curiosity of weight. There's something you can do with boys. Exactly. <laughs> it culminates apple. I'm not be responsible for anything he says. Chill out, listen to your child. They are human beings. They they're not ready. Yet, um, yeah, that's it. You know, teach, give, give, and we receive. We know nothing, like John said. Because that's the only way that you're going to talk about the sex education. Because imagine a uh, your child. Hey, okay. Hajua Tanzaje, cause just cause you're strict, just cause you're saying you should not mm -hmm. say this in this in this house, you should not do this in this house. So just be free, and yes, yeah, sex education is real and it's there. <laughs> That's why I feel we should introduce sex education in school, but it is not a solution for the problems that we're having, like early pregnancies and such. Yeah. We should just say. you should just develop a a, a, um, a culture as Kenyans to talk to each other. Be it your parents, be it your friends. Because that's easy. When you talk about it, you can't say we know everything, even in sex. But on the contrary, yeah, let's say when you go to school, you don't learn. Apa na Let's talk to our friends. Let's share, and let's get information from reliable sources. Yeah? Don't try this. Ata reso wana sema gamaze. Don't try this at home. Now I'm going to go here. Go. Let's do. At the end of the day, as much as to rasemo ko na jua. Kunai one international law. You say, "Ma, ignorance is no defense." Thank you very much. I believe they've said enough. I believe I've said enough today. <laughs> yes. So yes, thanks guys for always coming on board. Thank you very much and always feeling free to share your views on these things. So yes, thank you and thank you for watching this episode. Oh, before I finish. My very cute earrings, my very cute stunners, my very cute ring. It's and this bandana. Courtesy of Mule Concepts. I shall leave his link as well on Instagram. Go hit him up. He's a very dope stylist. If you have a video, you need someone to style you. He's your plug. So thank you very much for watching, and may God bless you.